All right, caught on camera, you're going to want to see this video. An alligator roaming outside of a local elementary school. A News for Jack's viewers sent us pictures and videos of the gator in the parking lot of St. Clair Evans Academy. That's on Moncrief Road. This was a very large reptile. And a local wrangling legend, <laughs> a trapper who has really gotten a lot of fame lately, was called in to restrain that gator. At, at times, I don't know who was going to win this fight. Ultimately, you were victorious, but, but certainly there is a lot of video. And, and you can see a crowd gathering around. So I want to bring in Mike Dragic. He's a licensed alligator trapper here in Duval County. And the man that you see right there in that video, which now is going all over the world, Mike. Tell me about that. This happened this Sunday up on Jacksonville's north side, right? Yep, yep, in the Moncrief uh, community. A shout out to you guys. Amazing community out there. They showed so much love. I, I, I really appreciate it. It was a unique experience. I got a call last minute, late at night. I show up to an elementary school, law enforcement, fire was on site. I walk up, there's a huge 10 foot alligator and uh, the job had to get done. So luckily he was a beast, but we handled him. So it was good. <laughs> well, you're not a small guy. <laughs> I mean, you're a tough guy. I do want to point out, you're a licensed trapper. You got a call from state wildlife officials. So this is not something that we would ever want anyone to take into their own hands. Correct. You definitely shouldn't be messing with alligators uh, on your own time. I am a licensed trapper through the FWC, uh, and I was contracted by uh, dispatch through FWC. So. All right, so what's going on here? Because you, you look like you're putting on a show, but this is actually you getting down to business, right? Yeah, correct. So what happens is you have to get these alligators tired. So I know it looks like I was poking and prodding them and messing with them a little bit, but you have to get these animals tired. They're way too powerful uh, for you to walk up and grab or touch or even try to put this right here, catch pole, um, which he obviously broke. So I brought this for you guys. <laughs> this is a stainless steel catch pole that yeah. I use to catch my alligators with, and it is significantly bent and broken. So he just absolutely destroyed it. Uh, and yeah, so you got to get these things tired before you mess with them. And uh, once they're tired, that's when the work happens. All right, so you're finally able to, to use that broken catch pole to get them in, to get them under control. You had a lot of people out there, a lot of kids that got to see this firsthand. Yes, correct. How, how did this story end? Man, another shout out to JFRD. Man, they, they were there, they helped me out. Uh, Captain Justin Smith, uh, one of my best friends, he was on site, showed up with his whole crew. And uh, man, thank, thankful for them. We were able to jump on this thing and, and get, get, the, get the job done. Uh, but yeah, man. So a lot of us, you, me, a lot of people have a healthy respect for alligators. Sure. Listen, they were here first. Yeah. They're really incredible animals. Unfortunately though, sometimes trappers do have to put them down. It, it, was that the case here? Correct, yes. Yeah, there is a time and a place to harvest animals. Uh, and this was one of them. When you have a, uh, a trapped alligator at an elementary school parking lot with nowhere to go, he becomes a very aggressive animal. Um, we really couldn't just relocate him somewhere else. It wouldn't have been good for the community. It wouldn't have been good for the wildlife around that area. Uh, so there's a time and a place, and, and this was that time. So we did have to harvest that alligator. Sure. So, Mike, I want to talk about your story because you are a Marine Corps veteran. Thank you for your service. We appreciate your appreciate service that. and your sacrifice. Somebody told me that you were actually shot and left for dead and recovered from that. Yeah, praise God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a full testimony. If you guys look up the HHA podcast, my personal testimony is on there, as well as my heart behind my organization, uh, which is the reason why I'm doing all of this. So Project Savior, it's a great organization. You told me about it. Tell me the mission. So the mission is to fight PTSD and veteran suicide uh, by connecting with the great outdoors and sharing the true freedom that comes through Jesus. Yeah, yeah, so wonderful. And I know that you're partnering with the Church of 1122 and it's about hunting and fishing and going outside and just enjoying all that Mother Nature has to offer. Yeah, that's it, right. That's therapy for some people that's like it. you, right? Yeah, yeah, and we just want veterans, first responders, and people out there struggling with mental illness to know that the only true freedom they're gonna find is through Jesus. So uh, if we can use the outdoors to bridge that gap, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So uh, all, all support is appreciated. How do people get involved? So uh, my personal uh, profile is Blue Collar Brawler. You can check me out on Instagram and the social platforms. I love platforms. that handle, by the way. <laughs> uh, yep, yep, yep. And then Project Savior Outdoors, Facebook, uh, Instagram, Project Savior Outdoors. And you can go to projectsavioroutdoors.org um, and find us there. Donations appreciated and prayers appreciated. And just honestly spreading the word is, is what matters to us most. 
All right, absolutely. So certainly we're going to change that from .com to .org. It's .org, but you can find him on, on Instagram and, and make it happen. Thank you, man. I yeah, appreciate yeah. it. And I know you do MMA too, so certainly some of your, your competitors are probably watching this saying, mm, I don't think I want to wrestle with this guy. I don't yeah, think I yeah, want to fight yeah, this shout guy. Shout out to right? Gracie Baja Jacksonville and Elevate MMA at Jack's Beach. Those are my teams. Those are my squad, All man. Right. Those <laughs> savages keep me going. So, Good stuff. Appreciate everybody out there.